we're up at the Upper Bonington Power Plant halfway between Castlegar and Nelson in British Columbia. Fortis BC owns and maintains 15 generating units along the Kootenai River. This plant has six of these units, four that were commissioned in the early 1900s and two newer units that were installed in 1939. As a true testament to the skill of our crews, these original four units complete with their original components still run annually during the spring freshet. We are now in the process of a five-year, $30 million project to bring these units to modern day standards and make them more reliable and safer for both our crews and for the environment. Let's do a walkthrough. To see this legacy equipment in operation, right now these units have to be started and stopped manually. And the process is literally a 50-step checklist that takes three tradesmen. We need to initiate excitation voltage by starting our water wheel exciter and visually confirming that the unit is spinning. Next, we have to open the governor oil valve and confirm flow. Then start the bearing oil pump and then open the cooling water valve. Once the cooling water is flowing, Two tradesmen are required to manually turn the hand wheel to free the governor arm. They then manually open the wiki gates to set the unit speed to 179 RPM. Unlike our older units, which are all controlled remotely, this unit has to be manually synchronized online. The voltage and power factors need to be loaded onto the unit to achieve the desired megawatt output as directed by our system control center. This will soon be replaced by an updated protection and control system, and our system control center will be able to start and stop the units at the push of a button. Even with these changes, many of the components of Upper Bonington's original four units will continue to be in safe, reliable operation, and we will maintain them with pride for many years to come.